In the custom of Parliament, we recognize invited guests seated in our galleries. I therefore wish to recognize the following guests who are seated in the speaker's row. Her Excellency Rachel Ruto EGH, First Lady of the Republic of Kenya, and other members of the First Family. His Excellency Honorable Rigadi Kashagwa, EGH, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya and the spouse of the Deputy President, Her Excellency Pastor Dokas Rigadi. The Honorable Musalia Mudavadi EGH, the P Prime Cabinet Secretary and Minister of Foreign Affairs. Your Excellency Honorable Members, also present in the Speaker's role this afternoon are the Honorable Lady Justice Mother Kome, EGH, Chief Justice and President of the Supreme Court. Her Lady Justice Flomela Mbete Mwilu, MGH, Deputy Chief Justice and Vice President of the Supreme Court. They are accompanied by Honorable Justice Eric Ogola, Principal Judge, the High Court. Honorable Justice Oscar Angote, Presiding Judge in Environmental and Land Court and Honorable Justice Brian Ongaya, MBS, Principal Judge, Employment and Labor Relations Court. We are similarly pleased to host the former Vice President of the Republic, the Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, AGH, who is also the co-chair of the National Dialogue Committee. We are also honored to have in our midst the immediate former speakers of the Houses of Parliament, the Honorable Justin B. N. Muturi, EGH, who is the current Attorney General of the Republic, and the Honorable Kenneth Lusaka, EGH, the Governor of Bungoma County. Your Excellency, allow me to also recognize the Chairperson of the Council of Governors, who is also the Governor of Kirinyaga County, the Honorable Ann Waiguru, EGH, and the Honorable Johnson Sakaja, Governor of the Nairobi City County. May I also accord special recognition to all cabinet secretaries present, Mr. Felix Kosge, Chief of Staff and Head of Public Service, Principal Secretaries, members of the Diplomatic Corps, and heads of constitutional commissions and independent offices present in Parliament today. Your Excellency, I wish to make a special mention of the Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, General Francis Ogola, and the respective service commanders, the Inspector General of Police, and other leaders of our disciplined forces who are seated at the Speaker's role. We are grateful for their distinguished service to the nation. To all invited guests,